What is happening, everybody? We're coming to you. I'm a little bit of a walk today, and, and the reason is because I went to, went to get the mail, and uh, it reminded me of a question that I do get a lot, and I promise you if one person is thinking it or asking it, there's many more out there, so I thought, you know what, let's just jump on today. Let's have a little discussion about it, and, and the topic is, uh, isn't an appraiser the same as an inspector, or you know, do I need both of them? Can one of them do both? So the important thing to realize here is that they are very different. Um, one is, although highly recommended, an inspection isn't required by any means for you to purchase a home. Now, do I recommend to all of my buyers that they should get one? Yes, of course. You know, you want to see what's going on with the house. The home inspector is going to be in there. They're going to present you with all the findings. You know, they're going to be going thing, through things like the tiles on the roof, the HC, HVAC, electrical, um, just the overall components of the house that they can visually inspect. So you'll know kind of where they are as far as the standards go, you know, as far as anything with the codes of the property, um, you know, like electrical codes, anything like that. Make sure everything is really up to par on it. Now, the difference is you can now use that information to negotiate on your behalf to get things repaired or get your home upgraded before you even move in. So um, that kind of lays out the home inspection, but it's not required whatsoever. Highly recommended, yes. Um, even in some case for my sellers, just to kind of have an idea of what they're getting into, um, you know, while putting a house on the market, what somebody might come back to and kind of get ahead of the game. Um, so even recommended there a little bit. Now for the appraiser, a lot of times that's going to be something that's just required by the bank. If you are financing, um, majority of the time the bank is going to want to send somebody out and make sure that uh, the home appraises. Because here's what happens is that let's say that you're entered into a contract for 500000 the bank sends somebody out and that thing only comes back at 475. Well, the bank has got some real concerns now because they don't want to start lending good money after bad. And God forbid something were to happen um, and you can't make the payments or something changes. You know, they really don't, they don't have any room to go get that money back because now they're out that money because they're upside down on the property. So they're going to want to make sure that their investment's being protected their loan, that money that they're putting out, is that if something were to happen and they needed to, you know, uh, take the property back, sell it, they could get their money back out of it. Now, there are certain circumstances where if you are an all cash buyer and you're like, you know what, just don't even care about what the appraisal is. This is my home. This is the one I want. You can see I've made it back into the garage now. But, uh, you know, and, and you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and buy it. And that's cool. That's what I want. That's where I want to live. Then that's fine. That's the buyer's, uh, that's their perspective. And Obviously, they're allowed to do it. It's their money. Um, you may also see a bank waive one or do a drive-by appraisal if, let's say, you're putting down 50, 60 percent on the deal, and they're only financing the, you know, the 50 or 40 that's left over. They may run some numbers on paper. They may look at the comps in the neighborhood and say, "Listen, we're good. We don't need to send anybody out for an appraisal. Um, we can go ahead and work with this." So, when you are the buyer, just know that the appraisal and the inspection are two different processes done by two different people. Um, you can hire your own inspector. Uh, the bank is typically going to send out their appraiser. Um, both of which though can lead you to a spot where you can negotiate. And that is where, you know, having the right agent, having a good agent can really make a difference. You know, if there is an appraisal gap, how do you get that covered? Does the agent come in, negotiate for you, get everybody back on the same track so that you can get this deal closed? Um, with the home inspection, does your agent use this as an opportunity to get your home upgraded for you? Get some credit at yeah, closing that you can use to repair some of these items? Um, or do they just brush it under the table and say, ah, it's fine, just move on, right? So this is where some things can change. You do have some opportunity to gain some ground here as a buyer. Um, and as a seller, you need to be aware of these too, is that, you know, this having a home inspection done prior from the seller side may get you ahead of the game. You may opt to fix a couple of things to make your home sell a little bit faster. Um, and then from an appraisal standpoint, you're going to kind of be in bed here with the buyers that if, if, the, uh, if the appraisal comes in different with a gap, um, everybody's going to kind of need to come to the table to kind of figure out a solution on how everything moves forward. So hopefully that was helpful for you. Helpful for you. I'm back from my walk. Um, I hope you all have a great day. And always reach out if you got any questions about what's going on out here in the Las Vegas real estate market.